Hello, this video is about how to collect scatterplot data using Google Forms. Now remember, we are looking for the target behavior that the team has decided that, that decided that we are going to collect. So we're not looking for everything, we're looking for the specific behaviors that we have agreed upon. First, there's going to be a video tutorial that's going to explain each part of the process, which is this video. So you can go back and you could use this to help remind you uh, or reference if you need help. But then again, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to contact me. Now we need the name of the student. Now to protect confidentiality, we're only gonna use initials. Um, since I work with a child, I will know who we're referring to, who we're referencing. But for confidentiality, we will only use initials. Next, who is observing and collecting the data? In this case, it would be a, a classroom teacher, um, a special education teacher, um, a paraprofessional. Who is the person? And please remember to put the name. Um, Frank Robinson, um, paraprofessional. Who is collecting the data? Next, our target behaviors. What are we collecting data on? Remember, we're not collecting data on everything. Just what we're targeting. Just what we're looking for. What we want to reduce. Um, in this case, in this example, we are targeting elopement from staff, which has a observable and measurable definition. Um, temper. And we also want to keep track of zero occurrences. So we're gonna mark good day and no problem behavior occurs. So along with when something happens and we record it, if nothing happens the entire day, then before you head out, make sure you go into your Google form and you mark good day. Once again, we have some more directions reminding you of what we need to do, um, starting with time of occurrence. Um, did it happen between 9 and 9.30? Now, the next question gets more specific. Was it math? Was it centers? Was it circle time? Was it during English? Um, so remember, first question is the time of occurrence. The next question is more specific. When and where did it take place? And then next, during that 30 minute um, block or however long the activity is, how many times did the behavior occur? Um, and there'll be a drop down box. I only put up to five. Well, you know, you can only really run once. Um, and the temper would probably happen once, physical aggression one time. There may be other things happening with physical aggression or verbal, um, verbal outbursts. So just remember, you know, what we're looking for. Then, of course, what a good day looks like. This is what the form will look like on your side. You will have the video, same information. Remember the red asterisk is a required field. And here are your questions. As I said before, drop down box. He ran twice, physical aggression occurred, or Nothing happened that day at all, and we just had a great day.
no problem behavior that day. Thank you, and I hope this video is helpful.